I'm going to try something a little different today and they're called microgreens. In case you've never heard of microgreens, basically what they are is a young seedling which you harvest rather than waiting for the plant to reach full maturity. Because when you do that, you will actually be getting 40% more nutrition from that little seedling than you would from the fully grown vegetable. And you can do them in something just like this. Don't need a lot of space. Just these little cheap plastic tubs that we make holes in bottom. You can get from uh, places like Poundland, Wilco's, etc. Just make some holes in bottom. And what you have to do is a little bit different to what you'd normally do when you're sowing seeds. So we'll basically go through that process. So obviously the first thing that you need to do is to put some compost in these trees. But don't fill them. Just do them about half full. And make sure when you're doing this that your compost is sieved. You don't want any big particles in there. So around about that. And then we'll tap it down a little bit just to level that bed out. So we'll just take a piece of wood and we're just going to level this down a little bit because you do need a really nice flat level bed for this. So basically you've got that. To round about that depth, that's going to be plenty because these seeds are not going to be in this compost for very long. Now we'll just get on and fill all the three up. So there we go, we've got all those trays filled up and the soil all nicely leveled out. Now we need to make sure that this compost is saturated. Now when you're growing microgreens, you're not just sowing seeds, broadcasting them like you normally would. You have to overseed so that all your little seedlings are planted densely and you've got loads and loads of them all in one little area. I'll show you what I mean. I'll bring camera in so you can see what I'm doing. So what you're going to basically be doing, as I said, is overseeding your trees like this. Lots and lots of seeds all in one area. But when doing this, make sure you're not stacking them on top of each other. You don't want to do it to that extent. You just want to try and cover as much as this area as you can. These are uh, radish seeds, by the way, French breakfast. But there's lots and lots of different types of vegetables that you can do this with. So something like that is what you're looking for. And you want to make sure they've got really good contact with this compost. So I'm just going to press them in a little bit. Now you can do this one or two ways. You can actually leave it like this if you want to, or you can give it a very, very light covering of compost. So we'll just do another tray and then we'll move the camera back out again. So I've also got some chicory. And the concept is exactly the same. No matter what seeds you're actually using, it's all about overseeding this area. And if you do a lot of these, uh, it would probably be better to be looking at bulk buys on seeds and not just small seed packets because obviously you're going to need quite a few seeds. Especially if you're going to do them in bigger trays than this because you're feeding a family. And I think we're all right at that. So you can see the degree to what you are actually sowing these seeds. Because you're going to get masses of little seedlings that's going to emerge all stood close together. And once they get to about three to four inches tall, you'll just go along with some scissors and cut the little seedlings off. And that is going to be a highly nutritious salad leaf that you're eating. Or microgreen. As I said, they contain 40% more nutrition than the fully grown plant. So that's why it's called a superfood. And they're great if you want to put them in salads. Uh, if you want to put them on sandwiches. And they actually have the exact same flavour of the vegetable that it is. Even at that young age. 
broccoli will taste like broccoli, cabbage will taste like cabbage, and on and on. So there's lots and lots of different vegetables you can do this with. So I'm just going to seed another tree. So this time I'm going to use some cabbage. And we're doing the exact same thing as we did overseeding. That is the key. And you can label these as you go if you want, but you don't really need to because you're not going to be pricking them out at a later date and then planting them to grow into a full size vegetable. And the last one I'm going to do is some red cabbage. So we've got a bit of mixed colour in there. And when these grow, you could also prick out a couple of the little seedlings from the edge if you wanted to and pop them on to grow into full size cabbages or cauliflowers depending on what you've seeded. So that's all your trays done and as you can see they're all really overseeded. Now as I said earlier, you can leave these as they are and just cover them with some cling film to maintain that moisture. Or you can give them a very light cover in a compost and it does need to be really light. Otherwise, because you've got such densely planted seedlings, they will try and push up all the soil in one clump. So it's got to be a very light sprinkling. So I use a colander because I know this is only barely going to cover all these seeds and that is exactly what you're looking for. So just keep giving it a little sprinkle if you've got one of these or something similar until you can't see the seeds anymore. And that way you know they've got the minimal of covering. Now when you water these plants you want to make sure you're only misting them. You don't want to be blowing the soil and the seeds all over these trays. They need to be stained where you put them. So just give it a light misting and that should be enough. Now what I like to do once I've done that stage is to cover the old tray with some cling film. So you're basically making your own little propagator by doing this. A miniature greenhouse. And it will retain all that moisture as well. So if you followed this, you've just planted your first set of microgreens. And it's as simple as doing that. All you need to do now is keep these somewhere that it's warm and it's sunny. Obviously we'll come back to it and see how they've progressed over the next couple of weeks. But the beauty of doing these is you don't need a greenhouse or anything like that. You can just do these little pots singly or in groups of four in a tray and just pop them in your house on a windowsill. As long as there's a bit of sunlight coming in there for when these seeds germinate, that's all you're going to need. Anyway, I hope you liked this video. And if you want to see the progress of these and other plants that I have growing, then just hit that subscribe button, press the notifications bell, and I'll see you on the next video. You all take care.